Yo, welcome back to my channel. I know everybody's been waiting on it, just like I have been, but it's round one of the 2023 Super GT series, and guess what? Honda did not show up to play. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Jamal, well, it was a wet race, then a dry race, then a wet race, then a dry race, and then a wet race. It doesn't matter. But I will say this, this is the very first time I've ever seen a race where there's actually hail that came down. I've never seen a race where there's actually hail that came down. But nonetheless, let's get to our GT500 results. Coming in P1 was the number 23 Moto Altec Z driven by Sugio Matsuda and Ronnie Quintarelli. Coming in P2 was the number three Natira, formerly known as Craftsport uh, Moto Z, driven by the Katsuma Masachiyo and Matsunari Tekabashi pairing. Coming in P3 was the number eight Arda Mugen NSX driven by Tomaki Najiri and Toshiki Oyu, followed by the Enios Prime GR Supra in P4, P5 Zen Sumo GR Supra, and P6. This was last year's champ, the Morelli Impulse Z. Okay, now let's get to the Honda, <laughs> the Honda finishing order. All right, so we had P3 was the Art of Mugen NSX, but then all the way down the sheet on P7 we have the Stemo NSX GT. Then in P10 is the number 64 Modelo NSX GT. Then in P11 is the number 16 Arda Mugen NSX. Then number, and then 12, P12 was the number 100 Stanley NSX GT. Now, I'm gonna be a little soft on, on Honda because I feel like it was kind of tough to really gauge their pace considering that it was a wet, then dry, wet, then dry, wet, then dry <laughs> race. So you really can't base too much, you know, emphasis on how they perform. But like I said, they look good um, in preseason practice. Um, and a lot of people are putting a lot of, putting their chips down on them. They're putting their money down on them. But as we saw through the, uh, you know, progressing through the preseason practices, a lot of teams are looking good. I mean, in fact, this practice uh, for this round one, the Denzo Supra uh, tops the time with P1, followed by P2 all times GR Supra. And then P3 was the... Uh, Natera Moto Z, uh, Z, uh, formerly known as the Craftsport Z. Um, they were the P1, P2, and P3 of the fastest times in practice. So I mean, I don't, I don't want to put too much put too much emphasis on the race on this race and say that this is going to be the overall performance of Honda going into the year. But I'm not going to lie, I kind of expect a little bit more of Honda, but maybe my expectations were a little bit high. But moving on to GT300. We have in P1, the number 18 of the Up Garage NSX GT3, driven by Takashi Kobayashi and Sayun Kaui. By the way, I do drive this car in ACC. So, and I also apologize if I butcher anybody's names. <laughs> P2, we have the number 65 Leon Pyramid AMG, driven by Naoya, Naoya Gamu and Takura Shonahara. And then P3, the number 244 of the Hachi Ichi GR Supra GT, driven by Kamiya Sato and Atasushi Miyaki. P4, we have the number 27, Yogibi, Yogibo NSX GT3. Number five, P5, we have the number 52, Sato Montoyo Pet GBGR Super GT, driven by Hiroki, Yoshida, Nikota, Kawai. So what did you think of the first round of the 2023 Super GT series? I mean, me, it's kind of tough to say. I think it was kind of like a, a, a a roulette today, you know what I'm saying? Somebody was just rolling the dice. It was like, who was going to win, who was not, you know? Um, it was wet, then it was dry. It was wet and it was dry. A lot of teams were out there on the wrong tires. So, you know, can you blame them? I don't know. But all I know is that, you know, the pole got won. You know, the pole got P1 at the end of the day. So, you know, obviously they knew something that everybody else didn't know. I don't know. But I am looking forward to see what Honda can do the rest of the year. Um, that isn't my pick for the year. Um, my pick is the West Ford Supra, but they didn't look too good today. But we'll see how they do in round two. Um, you guys stay tuned. Uh, we have more Super GT updates coming on for this 2023 series. I appreciate you guys joining us. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And by the way, I appreciate all the new subscribers that I just recently got. We're on our way to 1,000. I appreciate it.